Hey guys, Mike here. Today we're going to talk about how to install BitTorrent Sync on an Unraid 6 server. This is actually really easy to do. However, there's some confusion around the topic. I'm going to go ahead and make this really easy for you today and walk you through the process. The result of today's project will be you will have a Dropbox-like functionality on your Unraid 6 server, whereas from your mobile devices you can go ahead and upload photographs, documents, whatever you want, and it will synchronize not only to all your other mobile devices, but it will also synchronize to any other servers you've set up, which is a nice feature, so you can build in sort of redundancy among your servers. Today's project will cost you absolutely nothing. We're going to go ahead and use the free version of BitTorrent Sync. Now, there is a registered version you can buy, which adds some advantages, and I'll do that in perhaps a second part of this video. But for today, let's go ahead and get started setting up your BitTorrent Sync server on your Unraid 6. So what we're looking at here is the dashboard screen of an Unraid 6 server, and this is my test server. It just kind of shows you uh, the overall health of the server, so I can see if I have any dockers or virtual machines running up here, and right now the only one I've got currently active is the Plex Media server. But you can see I've got a couple others installed. I've got a Windows 10 and a Windows 2012 virtual machine on here. I've got a Dropbox docker that I wasn't really using, so I shut it down. Uh, there's a Crusader docker, which is kind of a file management system. Um, over here it tells me the health of my drives and as you can see I've got uh, three drives in my array. Those happen to be four terabytes each um, and a cache disk which is a one terabyte drive and they're all healthy and dog got a little green thumbs up. Sometimes you'll see these turn red if they overheat uh, and if there's any other errors it'll show up here. It also shows me the utilization of each of these drives. So I'm at 53% for drive one 11% uh, for drive two. Um, by the way, this drive here is the parity drive, so he never really shows with the utilization. His job is to back up up to 12 of these. But let's move on and how we set up a Docker. So all the Dockers you have installed, even though you can start and stop them here from the dashboard, if you go over to Dockers, it'll actually show you the details about them. Um, and this is where you're going to configure them generally and start and stop them. But since I do not have a BitTorrent Sync Docker here now, I'm going to go over here to apps and this is basically the unrate equivalent of an app store except most of the stuff in here is free now you can browse for different apps by clicking on on these little uh, filters here and it'll show you what's out there and there's a whole host of uh, dockers that are available for you and for those that aren't initiated yet a docker is basically um, it's like a mini virtual machine that runs on your unrate server it's got its own file system in it you can't really look inside it but it runs independently and it's sort of sandboxed from other other apps it's a very elegant solution and I really like it um, for example if you wanted if you had crash plan as your backup there's a crash plan docker all sorts of stuff but what I'm looking for is the BitTorrent sync one which happens to be called sync so I'm going to search for it and the first thing that comes up is sync and you can see this one is happen to be written by Lime Tech. You can see there's different authors for a lot of these. Lime Tech is also the same folks that write the Unraid server. So this is as much of an official solution as you can get. So to add this into my system, I just click Add. And then it wants me to do some configuration. Now, this is where people get tripped up because this is kind of an intimidating looking screen. So I'm here to make it easy for you. Hey, short version. Up here, you can name it anything you want. I'm going to keep it as sync because I'm not very creative. Okay, Right here is network type. You have a couple different options here. For the purposes of this video, we're going to keep this at bridged. Container volume. Now, remember what I said about how these are basically self-contained um, systems, really? Sort of like virtual machines? Well, inside each of these containers, these Docker containers, they have a, uh, a file system that holds files. Now, in this case here, there's a folder that's there called config, which holds all the configuration information about this particular Docker, our BitTorrent Sync Docker. Now, if it's just inside the container, you can't easily see it and you can't do any changes. So we typically have to map that back to uh, a place on our Unraid 6 server. And in this case, that's the host path here. Host being the system that's 
running the Docker within its operating system. So this host path is under MNT, which is your mount point for most Linux systems and Unix systems, uh, user folder. We have an internal user here called app data. And then there's a subfolder called sync. And that's where all our files are going to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and we need another another container volume here in order to hold the files we're actually synchronizing between our different systems and our mobile devices. So in the end, this is sort of like a Dropbox, except there's no central cloud storage. It's just uh, automatically synced between all your devices. So I'm going to go up here and so it's a non-central cloud, if you will. I'm going to call this folder forward slash BT sync. And that's my internal container folder. And then over here on the host path, I'm just going to browse out to user. And I made a test user here called Ben and a folder called sync. And that's all I need. Add path, make sure it's set to read and write. And there it is. Okay. The only other thing left is you can change your ports here, but for BitTorrent Sync, leave these alone. So now I'm going to go ahead and click Create, and it's going to go through the process of extracting this and installing it. It takes a few minutes. So we're just going to watch this go, and at the end, it'll say, it'll tell you it's done. Configure it, and like I said, it'll tell you when it's done. This command finished successfully, you click done. So let's go over to our Dockers tab now, and you can see here's our sync. It's running. It's set to auto start, so whenever my server boots up, this will be running for me. And then I click log, and it just shows if there's anything wrong, it would show there. Now, the next thing I want to do is click on the little green arrow, and I get this pop up menu. And what I want to do here is click on Web UI, which is going to actually open up the user interface for this Docker. Okay, so there's my folder, BT Sync. I've got no peers, meaning I'm not actually syncing with anyone. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set this up on my mobile phone. What I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on this share link out here. And I'm going to create a read-write permission. Uh, and this is just for security, so you can't use it forever. New peers must be approved. I'm going to turn it off for now, just because I, I'm, I'm sitting right here. And the link will expire in three days. And one of the things I can do is I can either email this or copy it, or I can go out to the QR code. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead on my mobile device and set it to scan the QR code. And here, guys, is the install of uh, BitTorrent Sync on an Android device. So we go through the intro screens, and we get to where it wants a username. This is basically how you're going to identify yourself to other devices on the network. I'm just going to go ahead and change it to Note 7 so I can differentiate between this device and other devices. And again, I just want to mention, this is what we're doing for the free version. So a paid version, I might take a different approach to this, more in the second part of the video. So notice I'm also going to go ahead and choose use mobile data for sync so that I synchronize I, even when I'm not on a Wi-Fi network. Okay, so it says here I don't have any folders yet. I'm not really synchronizing with anybody. So I can either create a folder here or connect with another folder. So I'm going to use this scan QR code from my Unraid 6 server, which you do that by clicking the share link on that server. That's all it takes. I'm now synchronizing with every file it's on my Unraid 6 server. It really is that easy. Now, as opposed to using a single user and just sharing everything, what I'm doing here is I'm essentially setting up multiple peer devices that can then share among each other. So it's almost like multiple users sharing devices. It's a little less flexible than if you had the paid version of BitTorrent Sync, but essentially you get most of the functionality here for absolutely free and just a little bit of extra work with your setup. So I kind of like that. 
So what I'm showing here is how you can download files to your device because by default it'll just show them to you and not necessarily sync them to the device itself. So we're taking care of that by just pre-downloading stuff. This is handy if you have things you want to work with, let's say while you're on an airplane or otherwise disconnected. If I close this, you'll see I now have one peer online and there's my mobile phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a file into here and that image should upload. See receiving, so it's synchronizing, auto, oh, it's already synchronizing for me. So I just got to find, uh, I just got to show you what's inside that folder now. So if I open up that folder, here's the image I uploaded from my mobile device. And let's see if I can get it on here. And it's just kind of a silly image. Um, must have a brain. So at this point, anything I add onto this computer in this folder and anything I put on my mobile device will automatically be in sync. And that's the basic steps to setting up your BitTorrent sync on an Unraid 6 server. So if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments below or click like. So I decided to leave you with this funny elephant clip. I hope it makes you smile and you have a great day. Take care.